Hi, I'm Eric Pratt, manufacturer's rep for New Blue, a company that makes amazing graphics software. Today, I have with me New Blue Effects Tyler Live Broadcast. Tyler Live Broadcast is a graphics package that can bring in multiple sources of data and turn them into video or NDI feeds to bring into your switcher. Software comes in five different varieties, sport, present, social, complete, and broadcast. Each has its own applications for the way that they take in data and are able to turn them into stunning graphics. All versions of the software come with amazing templates. Let me walk you through a little bit how the software works. Let me take you on a tour of the interface. In the upper right here, I have the program window, which has what's going out live to NDI, SDI, HDMI, or the other methods that New Blue supports. In the lower right, we have the preview window, which lets us go in here and make changes and edit the actual graphics before we take them live to air. On the lower left, we have it set up so that we have our graphics rundown list here and what is actually live, how they're configured, their current status, so we can select different graphics, see them in preview, and take them live. In the upper left, we've set up our inputs. In Title Alive, all different kinds of data are inputs, and in the input column here, we can select which is attached to what graphics. This scoreboard here, I can attach many different kinds of sports uh, with the sports complete or broadcast versions. So in this, we have these different inputs, and what I'm gonna select from here is the scoreboard tool, which will let me, uh, instead of having to take data from a scoreboard, I can manually increment these graphics myself. So here's our scoreboard tool, which is now a new input. Inputs are listed up here and can include things like spreadsheets, social media, different kinds of data formats coming in uh, from scoring utilities, uh, sportscast, stat crew. There are many different kinds of options. If we go into inputs, you'll see that there's literally folders upon folders of different methods of getting content into and data into New Blue Effects and turning it into these great graphics. So as I increment these things, they show up in the preview and if they're live, they'd be going out to our program. So when we bring it on, you can see that it does a really nice animated transition and we can do a really great graphic. And then of course, if we need to take them away, we just take it away. Another great example is the presentation facilities within New Blue Effects Titler Live. We can bring in something like a spreadsheet and we can bring on all of those elements at once with a very nice animated graphic. But instead, we could also take off different elements and bring them on one at a time. So as the speaker is talking, we can bring up the different points as they become relevant. This gives you an incredibly rich and complex way of adding really high quality graphics to presentations and conferences. Another great feature of Tidler Live is the ability for the video out to be going out a variety of different methods. NDI is one example where we're sending the graphics over the network to the switcher. There are several other methods supported. For a traditional switcher, we could send it out via HDMI, and then we could use a luma keyer or chroma keyer to bring that in and chroma key it over. Another option is to use SDI output, and then we can use a key and fill. So there are several different methods of outputting the graphics, even something as simple as outputting graphics that can be looked for in a folder and brought up uh, on the fly. So it's a very handy method of having all different kinds of outputs out of New Blue Effects Titler Live that can allow you to integrate it into your live production very easily. New Blue Effects comes with an amazing range of templates that you can use right out of the box. It comes with sports graphics, social graphics, presentation graphics, transitions, bugs, all different kinds of graphics that you need to do your live productions. It's organized into a handy to use library. And if you wanna preview something without actually adding it to your project, you can just roll your mouse over it to see what it looks like. If we go into the main category here, we can see all the different kinds that it comes with and they're broken down by categories. There's also several different kinds of elements. These are, for example, social media inputs. So we can see what it would look like if we were taking this data and using it to run polling on social media. 
So the different kinds of inputs are examples where the input graphics have already been tied together with the element. These library elements are a great way to bring your data and your graphics to really up the quality of your production using Titler Live from New Blue Effects. If you have any more questions about New Blue Effects Titler Live, please check out their website at newblueeffects.com or for more information on pricing, please visit onesourcevideo.com.